Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making three recipes that are perfect if you're a beginner with the Instant Pot. I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from Six Sister Stuff, and I might be a little obsessed with my Instant Pot. I absolutely love it. I have another post. That was my nine don'ts for my Instant Pot. So if you are new to Instant Pot, make sure you check that out and then come back here because today I am sharing three easy recipes that you can make with your Instant Pot that you really just throw in, you set it, and you're done. So if you wanna see more Instant Pot recipes or Instant Pot videos, I would love for you to comment below, let me know, or give me a big thumbs up. The way I do my food videos are a little bit different. That you're gonna see my hands working and I'm gonna explain it step by step. That way you'll be able to see every step, every process so you don't miss a thing. So if you're ready, let's go make these three easy Instant Pot recipes, especially perfect if you're just beginning. The first recipe I'm gonna make is called Sweet and Tangy Meatballs. So make sure your Instant Pot is plugged in, then you're gonna add anywhere between 30 ounce and 64 ounce of your favorite meatballs. I got these ones at my local Kroger. Then you're gonna add about 18 ounces of grape jelly. It can be any brand, it doesn't matter. Now I should probably use the spoon when I got this out, but I really wanted to squeeze it out. Next, I'm gonna add a 12 ounce container of Heinz chili sauce. Now you can get any branded chili sauce. You can also find this at any store. I got this one at Kroger. And really just pour the whole entire thing on your meatballs. Now with the Instant Pot, it's important to add water, so we're adding a half a cup of water right on top. Then you're gonna put your lid on, turn it, and make sure that it's on sealing. You want it on sealing so it'll actually pressurize. On the Instant Pot, you're gonna push manual, and set it for 10 minutes, then just walk away. When it's all done cooking, you can do quick release. Notice how the steam is coming out quickly. That releases all the pressure. So when it's done steaming, nothing else comes out. You can turn it and open it. Just still be careful. It's gonna be a little steamy and hot. I let them cool down for about a minute, and then I'm just gonna mix it all together. Get that sauce covering all of the meatballs. Now you can serve this over rice. I serve mine over instant rice because I could cook it the same time I did my Instant Pot. This really is one of my kids' favorite recipes. For the next recipe, I'm gonna be making enchilada rice. Now first make sure your Instant Pot is plugged in. Then you're going to take two cups of brown rice. I like to use the long grain brown rice, or you, if you don't like brown rice, you can use white rice too. Next you're gonna add two and a fourth cups of water. Next, add one can of black beans. Make sure you rinse them and you drain them. Then add one 15 ounce can of your favorite enchilada sauce. I liked red that's mild. Sprinkle a little salt on for taste. Then I added one teaspoon of cumin here. Now you're all done. Put your lid on, turn it, make sure you hear that little noise and make sure it's on sealing so it'll actually cook. Now I'm gonna push the rice button. Usually you can cook rice for seven minutes. I'm gonna bump mine up to 10 minutes because they're gonna be inside of a tortilla. So I want them a little bit more mushy and soft. So I did quick release again, just releasing the pressure. Now as soon as the steam stops, I'm able to open up my Instant Pot. And don't be alarmed at first, there looks like a lot of liquid on top, but you're actually gonna mix that in. Now as you're mixing, it's a good idea to grab a hot pad and hold on to your pan and mix. It will make your life a little bit easier. <laughs> now to put them together, I like to serve mine on tortillas. I also like to add a little bit of chicken, sour cream, avocados, really whatever toppings you like, they will be delicious with. And last I'm making fall off the bone ribs. Now don't be intimidated by these, they really are so easy. So first I'm gonna add a lot of salt on top of my ribs and then a little bit of pepper. Next you're gonna grab some apple juice and pour about a cup to a cup and a half into your pot. Now this is your liquid so you'll be able to get the pressure. Now my Instant Pot is a six quart and the ribs I'm using are beef ribs so they're actually a lot bigger. But if you're using pork ribs, you can put them in your Instant Pot just like this in any size of Instant Pot. But because my ribs are so big, they don't fit that way. So I'm gonna show you how I put them in. 
So first you're just gonna cut them right down the middle. Try not to cut the bone and try and make the meat as even on both sides if you can. As soon as you're done cutting them, you're gonna put them inside the Instant Pot, one on top of the other. Then put on your lid, make sure you seal it tight, and always, always make sure it's on sealing so it will work. Then you're gonna press your meat stew button and go all the way down to 25. Now I let this recipe do a slow release, meaning I let it release on its own. So now I'm just gonna check, yep, there's no pressure, so I'm gonna open it up. And the smell of these things are amazing. So I'm gonna take some tongs, pull them out, and put them on a lined cookie sheet. I lined it with foil, so my cleanup is going to be a breeze. Before your Instant Pot is done cooking, go ahead and preheat your oven to broil, so it'll be about 550 degrees or broil. Now before we broil these, we're gonna spread some barbecue sauce on them so they'll be caramelized, I guess, in barbecue sauce. <laughs> so I just did a few squirts of barbecue sauce. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you like, and then I just spread it around so it will be pretty even on each rib. Then when you're done, stick them in the broiler for about ooh, two to four minutes. You need to watch it so it doesn't burn your ribs. Now instead of just dumping this applesauce, I'm gonna put some potatoes in it because I'm gonna have mashed potatoes with my ribs. This is totally optional, but I'm all about easy side dishes. When you have your potatoes in, you're just gonna turn it, make sure it's sealed, and then you're gonna push manual. First turn it off, because if it's already on, turn it off, then turn it back on again. There we go. Then you'll push manual. You're gonna go up to 15 minutes. While those are cooking, my ribs are done and they look amazing. Now because I only put a few potatoes on, you can do a quick release and it won't splatter everywhere. So there you go. So I just took them out, I mashed them up with my potato masher, and there you go. You have ribs and a perfect side of mashed potatoes. Well, I hope these Instant Pot recipes are helpful for those who are just beginning or those who just need some new recipes. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give me a big thumbs up or comment if you loved my Instant Pot things. Alright guys, we'll see you later.